Evening guys, Lord of Pontel here with another video for Rise of Empires Ice and Fire. Today this is the sixth video of my series on Season Heroes and today we are looking at the uh, last of the three S1 Cavalry Heroes. Before I just go into talking about Ebony Knight, which is the hero we'll be looking at, I just want to give a shout out to two of my fellow Undisputed Alliance members, uh, Mr. Gunzo down there from Denmark and chip from the us both these guys have been uh with me in the game from very early on and um it's got to the point now where people in my alliance are actually teleporting by my hive so that they might get in one of my videos so there you go chip and gunzo i've given you a shout out now back to the matter at hand so if we go into recruit super recruitment and we go to the normal S heroes list, we'll see that we just reviewed Lionheart in the last video. So here we go, here's Ebony Knight, S1, cavalry hero, and he is a support hero. But once again, the, government, uh, the game description is completely wrong here, where it says this hero excels at su supporting allies, suitable for leading mid or back row squads. He's not suitable for for leading a back row squad and I'll show you why in a second um, but he is definitely a support hero he only has one direct damage skill um, which will uh, impact on the opponents so let's have a look at Ebony Knight skills skill one the usual dictator skill max it up to level 10 it will give you the extra 23,100 bonus marching capacity skill two his first of his three hero specific skills. So Ebony Knight is similar to Cincinnatus and Chung Mu Gong uh, in that they are kind of front row support heroes, all three of them. Um, so as I've talked about before, uh, the, there are three different types of S1 heroes for each of the three troop types. And um, so they are kind of all have similar uh, functions in, in those legions. So for Ebony Knight, this first skill is a combat skill and its effective range is two. But if we look at the target, it's one random friendly squad within effective range. So this is a buff skill. It's going to improve the, the statistics of one of your own squads in your formation. And um, Ebony Knight is a um, hero who is going to support you at the start of a battle. So as I've said before, there are eight turns in a battle and actually two of his skills focus just on the first four turns, which um, is not ideal to be honest with you because it leaves you very open towards the latter stages of a battle that you're not getting any bonus uh, or support from his skills. Um, so let's have a look of what the actual description is. So for the first four turns, every turn, squad with the least soldiers will receive a minus and then it's between five percent and minus 50 percent damage received and also let one random squad have between a 25 percent chance and a 70 percent chance of getting dodge status so if you get dodge status they're going to avoid the attack so you don't have any losses so that is actually a nice skill uh, it's you know got a dual aspect to it, but again, it's only for the first half of the battle. Skills three and four, as usual, defensive formation, which is for your own hero squad, and it'll increase the cavalry's resistance in that squad between five percent up to the maximum fifty percent. And for skill four, it will be the offensive formation. So again, cavalry's in that hero squad. Well, you'll be able to increase their might between 5 and 50%. On to his second hero-specific skill, One Man Legion. This is his only direct damage skill. So it is a combat skill. The effective range is 2. And the target is only one random enemy squad within effective range. So again, that's why I would really say that Ebony Knight is a front row hero. You're giving, um, you're giving the option for him to um, attack either that front or middle row, depending on the combinations of heroes that you have with him and what skills those other two heroes have 
in terms of their direct combat and where they're going to attack your enemy. What would this skill do? It's low chance, only 30% chance to deal between 213% and 549% damage to a random squad within the effective range and reduce the damage taken from footmen by between minus 12% and 30% for two turns. So if you were up against footmen, it will give one of your squads um, a buff in that regard. So it will reduce the damage for two turns after this has been activated. And you're going to damage one of your opponent's squads. Obviously, again, as I've said, if you, with this effective range too, if you put Ebony Knight on your back row, he this skill will not reach the opponent. It will be uh, defunct. So... Uh, that it won't do any damage. So there's no point in putting of any knight on your back row, guys. Skill six, the usual cavalry awaken. Again, applicable for your just your hero squad. And here we have the usual 250% bonus maximum for the leadership skills, uh, which will allow, again, your troop numbers to reach that maximum because you're giving that bonus to skill one which gives the extra um, troops. And then obviously you're going to be boosting skills uh, three, four, and if you've unlocked it, skill seven, because they are all your leadership skills. What does Ebony Knight have for this as well? So he is also going to give you plus 15% resistance, and uh, which, which is handy, and plus 100 cavalry speed. Um, so that will increase the speed that they attack at. Skill seven, Discipline Cavalries. Again, the leadership skill, but this time it is for the Heroes Legion, so all three squads in your Legion. And for Ebony Knight, he has a might buff skill for skill seven. So you're going to increase uh, for the might in your Heroes formation by between 13% and if you max it 40%. Nothing new or different there really. On to his eighth skill, Elite Squad. It's a prep skill, it's effective range is two, and the target is two of the random friendly squads within effective range. So it will impact two of your free own squads, two of your free own squads. And when the hero is in a formation, with three squads of cavalries starting at the first turn, two random squads will increase 6% combat skill damage for four turns. So again, as I said, Everly Knight is really only giving you support uh, for the first half of the battle. And if you think that his direct damage skill only has a 30% chance, you've got a high possibility that actually for turns five through to eight in the battle, Ebony Knight is not going to be assisting your formation at all. Um, so that's one key thing to think about here. Um, so what does this max out? So two random squads will increase to 60% combat skill damage for four turns. Again, so combat skill damage is the damage that um, the hero skills in... Uh, those two random squads would do because basic damage is what the troops do skill damage is what uh, the hero skills do so again with this skill what if you uh, the other two heroes that you've got are say normal orange heroes and all their skills are really low percentages and they don't actually activate in the first four turns then this skill will not have any effect so that's what you've got to think about in terms of you know do you really want to use ebony knight so those are his eight skills, guys. As always, um, let's have a think about longevity and whether you want to use him. To be absolutely honest with you, similar to Chung Mu Gong, you, you really, unless you have very limited options and you're not recruiting a lot of heroes, um, you know, you're not a big spender, you don't have VIP shop to get those extra super tickets, and you pick up Ebony Knight and a duplicate early on in the game, then yes, of course, as I've said many times, if you can max him out by getting fragments for him to unlock those third and fourth duplicates, 
then he is worth keeping if you don't get any other better options. But as a cavalry front row hero, um, there are about five heroes that are going to be better than him. Um, so you really, all the way from S2, uh, from Beast Queen, all the way into SX heroes, the Lawman and Windwalker, um, they are all going to be significantly better than Ebony Knight. And, um, you know, if you've got any of them, then you're going to keep them probably to end game. So really, Ebony Knight, I would not be investing a lot of wisdom medals in him. I would not be investing if you've got limited um, hero tokens to spend at the bar. He would not be a focus for me. Um, and again, just because like the combination of his skills, they're, they're not going to be that, that active potentially. There, there are so many other heroes that are going to be um, providing more contribution to the effort in the battle through the skills that they have. So there we go. For me, Ebony Knight, one of the weakest S heroes um, that is available. And um, I would, as I say, I would avoid investing in him that much. Uh, even, you know, by the time you get to S3, you, if you've got Beast Queen from S2 and you pick up Warlord then if from S3, uh, you, you're not going to want to use Ebony Knight at all. Um, and when you consider that the Brave S4 Cavalry Hero is also a really good front row hero, um, as I say, he's just not worth investing in long term, to be honest, guys. And um, you'd have to look at the heroes that you combine with him, what their skills do, and how often they activate. Um, because as I, as I've said before, with that ape skill of his, if they don't, if his, if your fellow hero's skills don't activate in those first four turns, then that skill is is not going to have any impact. So there we go guys, that is Ebony Knight. So those are the three S1 Cav Heroes for you completed. And next up we'll be on to our S1 Archer Heroes. We'll be starting with the Volunteer as I make my way up this chart. Um, just to give you another quick update in terms of uh, my account as well for you. Um, I did take part in the last four of Heroes duel today. And as you can see, uh, as expected, uh, my fellow uh, friend in, my, in Undisputed Zeus, he uh, gave me a thorough whooping, 3-0 uh, to Zeus. And um, in round one, he even actually beat uh, my class, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I did pick up a, a win uh, in that round from my cl cavalry class legion uh, for the other two rounds, but um, he, he did uh, beat me quite convincingly so I'm expecting him to um, have a good chance at winning tomorrow so uh, good luck for that Zeus so thanks very much for watching the videos guys I really appreciate all the support on the channel I'm at 199 subscribers now um, the channel's been growing really quickly this week um, I've got people messaging me in game asking questions and things um, I will try and uh, respond as much as I can to questions in game and obviously again please do feel free to uh, put any questions that you have on the channel in the comments section. Um, I do try and look at that daily and respond back to you guys uh, so that I'm, I'm, you know, helping you as much as I can. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, uh, like, share in gaming on your socials. And of course, as I say, place any comments that you have in the section below. And uh, thanks very much for w watching. Have a great Saturday and I'll see you all soon.